For two years the migrants of Shem, India, Japheth, China, and Ham, Africa, remained in the countries they visited, traveling extensively, showing themselves, and relating a history of the country from which they came. Then the Lord, which in this context references the Lord Collective of Thor's Day, spoke to the migrants of Shem, India, Japheth, China, and Ham, Africa, in their respective places, saying, Behold, the time has come for your departure. Gather together, O my beloved, and return to your own country, and relate there all the glories that the Lord your God has shown you. So they, the beloved of Shem, Japheth, and Ham, departed, and returned to their own respective places. And, behold, it took four years to accomplish the journey. Now during the migrants' travel, the Lord spoke to them, the migrants, every day through the Ahin priests. The Lord said, Keep together, O my beloved of Shem, Japheth, and Ham. I will lead you, you shall not be lost. Nevertheless, the journey was so long, that many lost faith, and were not mindful of the words of the Lord their God. And some of them strayed off among the Ahuans, the barbarians, and were lost. Of the six thousand migrants, ten tribes were lost. In all, three hundred and eighty-six people, men and women. Some were lost in one place and some in another. God, referencing the Lord, said, Sing songs of lamentations to my chosen who are lost, the faithists in Jehovah. For this also shall become a matter of record to the end of the world. Nevertheless, a time shall come when the Lord your God shall reveal the mystery of this day. So, when the people of Shem, Japheth, and Ham had returned to their respective places, behold, they all sang songs of lamentation for the tribes that were lost. And so the situation remains until this day, that in all of these countries, namely, India, China, Egypt, and Persia, that there is still in existence a legend that, long ago, the Chosen of God went on a long journey in search of their ancient brethren, and that ten tribes were lost in the wilderness. God, referencing the Lord, said, I have shown you, my beloved, the far distant people. I have marked out the road. Keep the road open, keep the travel open between the great countries I have shown you. Every eleven years one expedition shall start to the far-off countries. And if by chance you, my beloved, find my chosen who were lost, bring them home. And beloved, on all the camping places of your journey, you shall build an altar to the Lord your God. You shall build it in the shape of a circle, and the congregation shall sit in this circle, but the priest shall sit in its center. And, behold, I will speak through the mouth of my priest, words of wisdom and comfort. But beloved, in all your journeys, keep aloof, apart, from the Ahuans, the barbarians, the man-eaters. For they did not keep my commandments, nor did they preserve their seed through the circumcision. But they, the uncircumcised Ahuans, mixed with the drugs, the ground people, and went down in darkness, barbarism. Keep away from them, the uncircumcised Ahuans, O my beloved, you beloved of the Lord, on all your expeditions, carry with you Ahin priests, the sacred people, the mound builders. O beloved, in all your journeys you shall encounter your brethren coming and going, who dwell in the far-off countries, so that you may distinguish them, keep secret the sacred password, Jehovah, and the rites of my Chava, order, the Chava, order, of the Lord.